The Rhinos look to rebound after suffering their first loss of the season, while Richmond looks to bounce back from last night's loss at Harrisburg. Rhino Soccer is next on the Rhinos Broadcast Network. Stadium in downtown Rochester, a beautiful afternoon for USL soccer, the Rhinos and the Kickers. Good afternoon, soccer fans, and welcome to Rochester Rhino Soccer. I'm Joe Giuliano. Sitting in for Christian Silva is the injured Anua Obasi, and uh, thanks for stepping in this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. You're out with the ankle injury. Any updates on how that's coming along? Yeah, I tweaked it uh, against Charleston a couple of weeks ago. I'm coming back, you know, coach didn't want to risk me today, so next week I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, we're going to miss seeing you out in the pitch today, but you're in the second best spot for soccer today here up in the booth. Exactly, exactly. You always enjoy being up here. It's going to be great to work with you as the Rhinos take on the Richmond Kickers. Rochester, their first loss of the season last week at Charlotte, while Richmond comes off a 3-2 loss last night in Harrisburg. But, Anua, if you look at the Richmond kickers, they've got one guy who can score some goals. He got two last night in number 17, Jason Yisley. Yep, Yisley, he's their, he's their go-to guy, um, their leading goal scorer. He got two yesterday. He's one of the leading scorers in the league. He'll be looking to put his tired mind behind him and carry those goals into tonight's game. Should be some tired legs, but we'll see what Richmond has left in the tank this afternoon. For the Rochester Renos, I said, Anwa, who do we focus on? Voleski, anyone else? He said, well, let's go with Mendoza. Talk about him. Yeah, Johnny Mendoza, the, the life and soul of the, the, the team, to be honest. In the changing room, on the field, he's got the technical ability, he's got the speed, the speed of mind in particular. Um, he really is a standout player this season for us. He has been awesome to watch. Number 11, Johnny Mendoza. I know you're off to a great start to look forward to working with you for, uh, for kickoff here today. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully uh, it's going to be a very entertaining game. He's smooth on the field, smooth up in the booth. It's Anua Obasi. Stick around. Kickoff is coming up next. The Rhinos and the Kickers right here on the Rhinos Broadcast Network. Great Taste has landed. Salem's Great Tasting Hot Dogs and Deli Meats now available across New York State. When you build a new house with Faber Homes, you won't have to deal with the to-do list that comes with buying a used home. They made it really easy. I mean, the whole process was so simple and we were new to the process. It was our first time owning a home, definitely first time building a home. So. Well, they made it really easy, step-by-step -step process, so it's great. Learn more about the benefits of building a new home at FaberHomes.com and visit our models in Henrietta at Berkshire Park or at Regency Park in Greece. Faber Homes. Great homes, great price.
Come on, join the rest of the kids at Unity Health System's Total Sports Experience. Instructional program starting at age two. Year-round fun, join anytime. Call 458-4263 or check us out at totalsports-experience.com. In downtown Rochester as the home side looking to bounce back from their first loss of the season. It's the Rochester Rhinos playing host to the Richmond Kickers. Hi everyone, I'm Joe Giuliano along with Anoa Obasi for Rochester and Richmond. The Rhinos are 7-0-1 at home this season as they prepare to take on a very tough opponent, the fourth place. Richmond kickers. Let's get your starting lineups taken care of. First for the visitors from Richmond, it'll be Wara in goal. He's on loan from DC United, his eighth appearance of the season. Yambi, Robinson, Troyer, and Bontic, uh, Bentic in the back. In the midfield, it's Jeffrey, Callahan, Imura, and Owusu. And up top, it's Yisley and former Rhino Matthew Delicott. Lee Kalashoff is the head coach of the Richmond kickers. They are eight five and eight with 32 points for the Rochester Rhinos. 12, one and seven. First loss last week at Charlotte. They look to bounce back and get that winning streak going once again. It'll be Brandon Miller in goal, his 16th appearance of the season. In the back, Apostolopoulos, McMahon, Van de Castile and Ringhoff. In the midfield, Dixon, Mendoza, Garzi and Walls. Up top, Voleski and Forbes. Bob Lilly, the head coach of the Rochester Rhinos. Referee today, Vito Testa Jr., assisted by John Sapphire and Kevin Ficar. And the fourth is Robbie Naji. Richmond in the all black, Rochester in the all white. That should be very easy for our broadcast today as we bring in a expert fill-in color commentator, Anua Obasi, out with an ankle injury. Welcome. Thank you very much, Joe. Looking forward to uh, commentating on what we hope is going to be a brilliant game. This is nothing new for you. You did it last year. You said growing up, you and your brother commentated on games on a constant basis. Yeah, we actually used to play with uh, little army soldiers, and we'd commentate on what they were doing. So it was, uh, <laughs> it was, I'm re realizing a childhood ambition here, commentating on this game. I wish you were on the field, but like I said in the open, this is the, the next best spot to be up here calling it from midfield at Salem Stadium. A gorgeous day. What do you expect from the match today? I feel as though Richmond uh, is going to be a tough game coming on a, the second game in two days. Um, as we see on their, their squad, they've rotated some key players. Uh, no, noticeably absent is George Davis and Hugh Roberts, who have been some of their cornerstones of the season. So we'll see how they cope without them. And for the Rhinos, it's just it's going to be pressure. You're going to make them want to play. You're going to make them want to run and um, see what they've got in the tank left from last night's game. Early on, as this one's knocked off of Imura, it'll be a throw in for McMahon on the near side. First minute of play, first meeting of the season between these two clubs. It's McMahon. Quick little touch from Garzi, no one there. Some forward for Yisley, a heavy touch. He's pressuring deep in the Richmond half of the field. Forbes is into the 18. Driven ball across the six, no one on the end of it. 
Yeah, we see Canado, dangerous ball across the box, but no one in there. It was Valeski who played him the ball, so no one had a chance to even get in those attacking spots. Rhinos coming off a 4-2 loss at Charlotte last week. When you guys dissected that one, what did you see in that 4-2 loss? Well, I think I feel as though it's, it's just one of those performances where maybe five or six players had a had a below average game and the opposition were just hungry. They had a lot of energy, they played well as a team and the end result was our first loss of the season. It was the first one ending Rochester's 19 game unbeaten streak. And they look to start their winning ways once again against a very difficult opponent. And the Richmond kickers will pick up a free kick. Here's Callahan, team captain today, Yambi. Sent down the near side. And keep it in play to Bentick. Bentick only his third appearance of the season. Last night at Harrisburg, this is his fourth. Looking for the big man, Delicott. Here's Delicott, top of the 18. Driven ball into the box. And a flick on by Matthew Delicott. Not going to work. Mendoza. This one out of play. He was looking for Valeski. Throw coming up for the kickers. 3 2 losers last night. Yisley. As Ottawa mentioned, two goals, both of them on PKs. As they fell to Harrisburg. Yeah, I noticed uh, Yisley's got an exceptional um, free kick technique, a little stutter step. The, the, first, the first attempt, the goalkeeper couldn't even dive. He's got. A nice season going so far. 16 games played, fourth best, 11 goals. He's got one assist to kick in as well. He's been with the kicker since 2012. Picked up by Wusu to Callahan. He'll work the near side. Mariah Bentick. Jeffrey. Zone half, takes a look up. Some possession here from Richmond. McMahon almost with the anticipation there to break it up, but still wins a throw in for the Rhinos. I think it's going to be very important for Richmond to, to string passes together because with tired legs on the field, they're going to need all the ball they can see early on. It's played outside now to Troyer. There's Callahan. to Bentick. It's been a lot of the ball for Richmond early on. Gonna go over Ringhoff, not gonna get over him in the air. It's Dixon spinning around back to Apostolopoulos. Picked up again by the kickers. In midfield is Valeski. Poke outside for Mendoza. There's McMahon with some space. Slowly trots forward, plays it back to Walls, one time forward. Waleski looks to play it on, but no one there off at second ball. The kickers away from home are 3-4-4, four, and 5-1-4 four, and four at City Stadium. Currently in fourth place in the USL's Eastern Conference, and Boyer points a hot commodity now, this time of year. Yeah, I think Richmond, they're going to be looking behind their backs with Harrisburg and Charlotte on their tails. I feel as though their manager's going to look at this game as one they want to pick up points because it's hotting up in the middle of the table right now. Pittsburgh just behind them, along with the Red Bulls. It is a tight race for the top six spots in the USL playoff push. Down the middle, Mendoza. Forms. Taken off the ball there by Jared Jeffrey. Well, Bentick. Forbes, a guy you're familiar with, played against him this past winter when you were with Baltimore. Well, he played Syracuse uh, indoors. Yeah, super silky player. So skillful, day in, day out in training. Um, he'll make players look stupid the way he can cut and fake and faint. He really is a pleasure to play with and, uh, and a real challenge to play against. He packs quite a punch on his shot as well, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, he, he gets hold of a ball and it really travels.
uh, if he gets a few looks on goal today, it could be big trouble for Richmond. His one goal this year was a bomb of a volley. It was stuff of the highlight reel. And for Delicat Apostolopoulos, steps in front, Matthew Delicat, the 33-year-old, former Rhino, posting deep up top for Richmond. Oh, free kick coming out here for the Rhinos. Yeah, we've we already seen early Joe uh, Delacarte, who's uh, you know he's a very physical player, popular name around these parts actually, and already he's kind of imposing himself on the Rochester defenders. It was 10 years ago that Delacarte came to the attention of the Rhinos back in 2005. He scored three goals against the Rhinos in the semifinals of the playoffs. Next season, he was a member of the Rhinos. This one's picked up by Wara, the 22-year-old on loan from DC United, his eighth appearance of the season. Not drafted out of college. In a trial with DC, signed, and then sent on loan here to Richmond. Yeah, great story really there, Joe. Uh, a walk-on and impressed at the trial. And now he's, uh, he's a DC United player and playing professional soccer in the USL. Three players on loan from D.C. in the starting lineup today. Wara, Robinson, and Jeffrey. There's Van de Castile. I don't know, you look at the numbers defensively this season. Number one in goals against the Rhinos defense with 10. What's it been like to play with Van de Castile and Apostolopoulos? McMahon, you guys have done a great job helping out Miller as well. Yeah, the, the combination of, uh, you mentioned Vasilis Apostolopoulos, uh, Grand Van de Castile and, and McMahon, along with Julian Ringhoff has been a very solid unit. And I feel as though we've done a good job of stopping chances. Brandon having to make serious saves, so it's helped our team. The four goals we conceded last week was a bit of a freak incident, and we hope no repeat of that today. It's been an outstanding defensive year. Speaking of pressure, it's coming from Mendoza right now. Man, so done by Delhi doesn't lose too many in the air. Ringhoff will step in, knock it to midfield, but only as far as Owusu. Oimura, one on one, corner of the 18. Still Imura gets the cross, and at the near post, Miller makes the save. 0.48 goals against average for Miller, and still num number one in the league after giving up four last week in Charlotte. As the captain walls, long ball forward, Valeski can't get there. Broken up by Robinson. Walls will try it again. Pass intercepted there by Jeffrey. Imura. Japanese footballer, impressing the staff at a combine in 2015. Three-day combine, picks up a contract coming out of it. Delicat lays it off, Owusu. Shoved off the ball and Vito Tested Jr. doesn't like what he sees. Yeah, good, restart. Good use of the body by uh, by Owusu there, he got in front of Tony Walls and kind of drew that foul when it looked like he'd lost control of the ball. Smart play. A look at it as Walls did come in with the arms. A set up here for Jeffrey, the 25 year old on loan from DC United. Callahan takes a look at it as well. Three in the wall for the Rhinos. Let's see if they have a go from here. They've got big target players in Yisley and Delicat. It's a Wusu low, deflected on the one hop, saved there by Miller. I feel a side foot from there is uh, it's going to be very tough to beat Brandon Miller from there with a side foot shot and you know, rolled harmlessly to his arms. 11th minute and scoreless. In Salem Stadium, kickers and the Rhinos. Bentick. Played four games last season with the Railhawks of Carolina. Now in his fourth appearance with the Kickers. So Wusu. 
Chipped into the box for Delicott. McMahon gets there first to knock it out of play. Have you visited the new USLsoccer.com? Get the latest news and live stats and check out the new social media hub. It's all at USLsoccer.com. There's a player down on the far side defensively. Not a good look for the Rhinos. You're out with an injury, and now it's Ringhoff just at the top of the 18 who's requesting the assistance of the trainer. Yeah, Julian gone down. Looks like it could be his, his right ankle as well. And we see Sean Tosh warming up. And uh, the, the good thing about the Rhino squad is a lot of depth, and we won't lose anything with Sean Tosh coming on. It's just unfortunate to see a, a player go down this early in the game. We'll see if he gets the indication to come off, but bring off a big, tough competitor, making his 17th appearance of the season. Looks like he's trying to shake it off. A little jog there as well. Didn't see the usual uh, substitute uh, indication from the trainer, so we'll see if he stays. I think he will. Yeah, he's got grimace on his face, but seems to be walking okay. We'll see. The Rhinos won't want to play with a man down for too long, so we'll see what happens on this situation here. Ringhoff heading over to the trainer. Into the box. Delicott's header right into the arms of Miller, and that is going to be a threat tonight. The big guys in the box, maybe the biggest forwards the Rhinos defense has seen this season. Yeah, he's really, really asserting himself, the physical presence of Delicott, and he's got on the end of a great ball there. Fortunately for the Rhinos, straight into the hands of Brandon Miller, but don't want to give him too many looks like that. He's uh, clinical with his heading, finishing. There's Owusu picking up the loose ball. 13th minute, Delicott, a snapping header. Saved by Miller. Garzi to Van de Castile. McMahon back to Grant Van de Castile. Selected to the USL Team of the Week two times this season. Astalopoulos leaves it for Canaro Forbes. Ringhoff is taped up and heading towards midfield. is back on, so we go back to 11 v 11. There's Forbes. Spinning, looking for an option. Rhinos with possession in their own half. Richmond has clamped down and forcing the Rhinos to look for some other options. Yeah, welcome spell of possession for the Rhinos, but you can see the Richmond kickers with a clear game plan. They're not, they're not really pressing too, too intently over the halfway line. Comfortable comfortable to let the Rochester center backs have the ball. As soon as the long ball is played, offsides. Here's a look at Delicott's header, a good, powerful header, and a good save by Miller just a couple minutes ago. <clears throat> yeah, and we see it's the, uh, it's the space left by Julian Ringhoff having to go off, let them have that space to find the cross, and. Delicott straight into the arms of Brandon Miller. Well, Richmond has a lot of ways they can score goals. Yisley with 11. Davis and Delicott both with six. Ownby, who's not here, has four goals on the season, so it could come from a number of different places, very similar to the Rhinos. Yeah, Yombi, big, big, strong center back. Um, he's, a, he's a very dangerous presence from set pieces. 25-year-old, not on the trip. This weekend. Imura. Owusu. Outside for Delicott. Back to Owusu. Into the box. And knocked away by Apostolopoulos. And for Valeski, but Yambi is there first. Bentic and Mendoza. Forced now back to the veteran Yambi, the 31 year old. Joyce in Richmond since 2009. There's Yambi. 21st appearance of the season. Kickers back in action on Saturday. 
August the 15th, they'll be at Toronto. The Rhinos will host Wilmington right here at 7 p.m. next Saturday. On the far side, Ringhoff back from the injury. To Dixon. Dixon started the season on fire. He's got three goals, but his last one, April 26th, against New York Red Bulls, too. Injuries definitely slowing down his game. Yeah, frustrating couple of months for Alex Dixon. Got an unfortunate knee injury and it's kind of put him out of uh, put him out of the lineup for a while. But he's back now. He's looked dangerous in training all week, and we'll, we'll hopefully see see a renewed effort to score some goals for the Rhinos here. Zawusu back to Jeffrey. 17th minute and scoreless. The Rhinos and the kickers. They'll do it again on September the 5th at Richmond. As Walls, quick touch to Apostolopoulos. Back to Ringhoff. Owusu steals it away. The kicker is coming back downfield. Into the box, the low service, and Miller able to get there as he collides with Delicat. Yeah, the Rhinos have got away from one there. Julian Ringhoff trying to take on his man on the far side, and you know, he's a quick, a quick little player over there, and he's pinched the ball. Here's a look at that last challenge. Wusu played 28 games with Charlotte last season. He's been busy here in the first 18 minutes. Yeah, little, little tricky player, low center of gravity. Not, not going to be one of those players who's easy to fall on the dribble. And I think Julian's going to learn quickly. You're a guy six foot three. You uh, or six five? What is it? Six four. Six four, right in the middle. I have it. Yeah. But uh, you prefer defending against uh, bigger players or those guys with that lower center of gravity? Is there a difference? Uh, there's definitely a difference. Uh, low center of gravity. There's a, a little bit more unpredictability about the way they play. I feel. Uh, you see the, the greatest player in the world right now, Lionel Messi, really low to the ground and very very hard to stop. So I feel there's a natural advantage when you're that small and you're dribbling and changing direction. But a big player is going to give you more problems with the with the longer ball. You know, he's, he's able to get up there, and it, just, it really depends on the technical ability of the player. But and now, having said that, you're six four. You play like a guy who's got a low center of gravity, though. A very very unique mix and style of play. Very entertaining to watch. Aren't you? Thank you very much. Yeah, I think I schooled in uh, a lot of football, a lot of five-a-side, and that's uh, really where my skills were developed. And uh, they translate into the outdoor game. Probably unusual to see a six-foot-four oh, left back. No doubt. Love to see those dashing runs forward. Because with you, you never know what's going to come out of that bag of tricks. Step over, double step over, who, who knows what? Yeah, it was uh, definitely long hours in my in my room practicing skills, watching YouTube videos, and it's definitely an element of the game I take a lot of uh, pride and enjoyment from. When do you return to the pitch? Any ideas? Yeah, I think the next game is precaution, really. I don't want don't to rush anything back now. And, you know, Valeski gone down, heavy challenge there. Hard challenge with Yambi and Valeski. Unless he's got to be careful. He's on four yellow cards, one caution away from serving a suspension, but nothing bad there. As Mendoza and the Rhinos continue to come forward into the 18. Mendoza crosses, headed back up and over the goal. Bentick almost put it in his own net. Yeah, huge chance there. Johnny Mendoza streaking down the left hand side, crosses it in, and the Richmond defender nearly put it in his own net. Good work for Mendoza, the player we highlighted at the start of the match. Here's a look at that last challenge. And it was just a bad giveaway at midfield. And the Rhinos tried to capitalize. Yeah, tantalizing ball by Johnny. Could have been put into his own net just there, and Richmond escaped one. Mendoza's delivery. Bounces in the six up and over all the big targets. It'll be coming out on a goal kick for the kickers. 
Be sure you become a fan of the USL on Facebook for exclusive league news and interactive content. It's the USL on Facebook. Goal kick is played short. Wins the header. Dixon, a good touch. Garcia, tough one there. Mendoza couldn't reach it. Back to Yambi. Or Jeffrey. Owusu. Heavy touch out of play. Quick throw in for Forbes. Finds Mendoza. He's got Valeski central. Gets it back to Mendoza. No, left for Valeski. The shot! Off the target. Goal kick coming out here for the kickers. Yeah, sliced wide by Valeski there. Not not the easiest angle to score from, so he had to go for a lot of power, and unfortunately, uh, it's come off the side of his foot and gone out for a goal kick. It's Wara to take it. On the 22nd minute, the Rhinos and the kickers are scoreless. Rochester with 43 points on the season, Richmond with 32. Man, nice off the chest, settles it. Mendoza can turn with some space. And behind Dixon. And the ring off. Walls. Some early opportunities for the kickers and the Rhinos coming back. Mendoza creating havoc on that far side, serving a dangerous ball into the box. There's Forbes. McMahon. Lays it off, Russo wins it back. Not for long. Good step by Van der Kastel there, read the play. Good touch there, taken by the kicker, set forward now for Yisley. Slows down, Apostol Lopez comes away with it. Good touch there from Forbes. Van der Castile. The Rhinos will have six of their remaining eight matches right here at home. Good stretch to keep adding up the points and hopefully finishing first overall in the league, not just in the conference. No pressure. Yeah, Rhino's <laughs> best home, home record, so it's gonna be tough for teams to come here and get points. So with six of the remaining eight at home, I can only see the Rhinos building on their league position. The Rhinos in the battery, the only undefeated teams at home this season. Charleston in town last week and in all honesty a very dull affair between those two teams I thought yeah both teams looked a little jaded in that game this one's played back to Wara very stifling defenses both ways kept that game in check Apostolopoulos another great read by Apostolopoulos there cleaning up the defense and keeping possession How's it been to play alongside of him? He just seems like a a real deep veteran player with a ton of experience. Yeah, so smooth. Um, not not got the blistering pace or not like you wouldn't class him as a physical specimen, but in terms of his technical ability and getting the job done, unbelievable, consistent as well. Always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, you learn a lot playing against someone with that sort of experience. You learn he, he orchestrates around him. Jeffrey, a chip forward over the head of Yisley. And to Castile, spinning around, finding Garzi. Outside to ring off. Slow down for Apostolopoulos. <laughs> walls. Richmond content to sit back and see if the Reynolds can maybe pump one up. And a long ball. Apostolopoulos looking for movement and options to serve the ball. There's Walls. He will go long. Mendoza deep in the corner on the near side. Good touch back for Forbes. There's Forbes driven into the box for Dixon. Up of the 18, Garzi will go back outside to Ringhoff. Chance for Ringhoff to get into the attack now. 
to Apostolopoulos. On the near side, it'll be broken up. Owusu. Yisley, a little flick forward. Makes a bad hop, and the Rhinos come away with it. And the Castile to Garza. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great idea. Good first touch, but sailing turf, you know. Good touch, Forbes into the 18. The shot off the post. And rebound cleared away. Canardo Forbes, that first touch was dynamite. Wow. What a first touch and what a strike. Keepers made an absolute world-class save there. Forbes again. Low cross for Mendoza. Toe poke saved by Wara. Pressure coming from the Rhinos now. Mendoza takes a shot that's just wide. Yeah, the, the rookie goalie's coming massive for Richmond there. Two fantastic saves in a short period of time. Did he get a piece of the uh, Cardano shot? Yeah, tipped it onto the post. Here's a look at it. How about that touch right there? Just pushing inside of the defender. Yeah, he made the defender do the splits there. And he's <laughs> Second opportunity set up by Forbes again. And Wara has had to come up big here in the 27th minute. Yeah, Johnny Mendoza with the, with the composure to take a touch and get his shot off. Keeper's made a great reaction. So. Fanda Castile. 28th minute. Wara getting a piece of that. We talked about it. Forbes, he's got a blistering shot. He showed it there. Walls. Dixon working the near side, Canardo Forbes. Great switch by Alex Dixon. Canardo won't be one here. Nicely off the chest. Valeski. Kind of waited for that one. Garzi and Mendoza starting the attack once again. Forbes and Chip, and no one on the end of it. There's Callahan. Fifth season with the kickers. Goes forward for Delicott. Outside for Imura. Back for Jeffrey. Kickers dodging a bullet there moments ago. Yeah. Laura's fingertips in the post, keeping this one scoreless. Yeah, the Rhinos really cranked up the pressure the last five, ten minutes. And Richmond very lucky not to be one, one no down here. Canardo Forbes, the architect of that attack. He's got a goal and two assists on the season. After bagging 22 with Syracuse this past winter indoors. Yeah, I believe he was their MVP for the Syracuse Silver Knights. And there's no surprise why he's a formidable player. He had some good numbers. Nine goals, 10 assists. The all MASL rookie team as well. Yeah, very nice job. He's uh, very happy with my, my debut season. You know, you learn the game. One of those games where you really do have to learn quick. There's Mendoza looking for Dixon. Finds Voleski, still with it. Back to Mendoza. Outside Forbes with some space. Crosses. Shot. Oh, it's deflected off the post at the last second. It may have been Yambi to save the day there. In the 30th minute, unlucky for the Rhinos. Yeah, another fantastic opportunity. Canardo's got the vision to cut it back to Valeski, who he's done it, he's put it on frame, and it's just a great defensive play in the end. A little bit fortuitous for Richmond again, and the Rhinos really are knocking on the door here. Valeski looking for his eighth of the season. Not too far off the mark. Mendoza's delivery. Into the mix. Apostolopoulos. One time shot, Wara tips it up and over the bar. And it's Voleski who's asking some questions. Well, yeah, Voleski again, he's done well to curl a shot. He's dipping into the, the back of the net there and the keeper's just tipped it over. Another corner kick coming up here, third of the half for the Rhinos. Rosa asking for 10 yards. Still looking for that distance, gets it, delivers. Delicott battling there with Van de Castile and referee is going to make this call in the 31st minute. Another corner kick for the Rhinos. Fourth one of the half. 
Yeah. Rhinos coming with the pressure. Mendoza, good ball. Over the head of Walls and cleared away by Callahan. Castellopoulos slammed into from behind by Jeffrey. Be a free kick coming up here for the Rhinos. 32nd minute. Be sure to follow at USL on Twitter. Become a league insider, join club conversations, and have a chance at exclusive giveaways at USL on Twitter. Yeah, after a bright start by the kickers, it's always been the Rhinos applying the pressure here, and they haven't got out their own half. Two posts in three minutes for the Rhinos. When they turned it on, they have been dangerous. Apostolopoulos. The walls checking all the way back for it. There's Vanda Castile. Thread the needle there, but broken up by Callahan in that bunker down kicker's defense. Three ball intercepted. To midfield, it's Jeffrey and the kickers. Callahan back to Yambi. Denied Voleski his eighth goal of the season. Moments ago, good win there by McMahon over Yisley. Mendoza. That was quickly coming out of their own half. Mendoza. Dixon, good ball. Into the 18. Through the six, and nobody knocking on the door. Yeah, Dixon put the ball across the face of the goal where Valeski had made the run. A tighter angle and uh, just on different wavelengths there, but it's a good opportunity by the Rhinos again. Johnny Mendoza instrumental. And you nailed that he's that motor in the midfield, and you could just see all cylinders firing there as he quickly pushed forward it towards that uh, Richmond defense. Yeah, put them all on the back foot, drew in defenders, and found the, found the penetrating pass, put Alex Dixon in behind the defense. Strong win in the air, of course, by Ringhoff, as usual. Imura, who switched over to the far side now. Spinning away from pressure. Gets it back from Jeffrey. And one two by the kickers. Luwusu shifting central now. He's found a pocket of space here, and uh, it's a great little counter. Bentuk. Cross deflected off the leg of McMahon, and... Out of play, it'll be a corner kick for the kickers, their first one of the half. And they have got some big options in Yisley and Delicott. So if the Rhinos defense will have some big boys to deal with. There's Lee Kalashaw calling over his captain, Michael Callahan, and maybe a little time-wasting tactic here as well. They played last night in Harrisburg, 7 p.m. kickoff. 5 p.m. kickoff here today in Rochester. Those back-to-backs have to be nasty. Yeah, brutal schedule for Richmond here. They can definitely feel aggrieved that this season they got a horrible back-to-back -back here where they need points and playing against a tough Rhinos team in the second second game in less than 24 hours. There's Yambi. Going to go far side. Mura. Callahan battles for it. Valeski and Dixon come away with it. This ball that was picked up by the kickers. Driven into the box. Good punch there by Miller as Delicott. Not too far from getting that little flick on it. Done nicely by Voleski. Gets away from the pressure. Good work. Out of the near side, Forbes. He's been dangerous in the first half. Canaro Forbes to Mendoza. One-time shot up and over the goal in the 36th minute. Yeah, they got great power on the strike, but the direction wasn't there, and it's sailed harmlessly over. But a nice, nice put-together counter by the Rhinos. Nike is a proud partner of the USL. Follow at Nike Soccer on Twitter for all the latest Nike soccer information. 36th minute, last look at the opportunity from Canaro Forbes. The ball back for Mendoza. 
yeah, him and Mendoza linking up, linking up really well in this game. Two very intelligent players. Up in the air, Owusu battles with McMahon, and Forbes comes away with it. Walls back to Forbes, goes down. He's going to be a little talking to for Jared Jeffrey, and he'll go in the book as well. In the 36th minute, the kicker's Jared Jeffrey. A bit of a soft yellow card there. The referee's indicated that it's, it's more for an accumulation of fouls than just that one. But not what Richmond need when they've got tired legs out there. They don't need a player on a yellow. Here's a look at that last opportunity, or the last yellow card. Jeffrey came in late after McMahon won the ball from Owusu. You can see Vito Testa pointing out all over the field. The infractions committed by Jeffrey. First yellow card of the game. There's Apostolopoulos. No less. Going back towards midfield to Ringhoff. A little bit of space, they start to close down. Get back. Mendoza trying to flick it on to Valeski. No go. Crowded in there, it's going to be tough for, for Valeski to do anything, even if he can bring it down. Callahan. Inside to Troyer, now Jeffrey. Forward for Yisley. Back by Apostolopoulos. Still nicely. Now Callahan, Imura. And nicely won there. Mendoza and Walls work together to win it for Rochester. Forbes didn't get enough juice at it. Molesky could have stretched the legs out a bit there. Imura cuts it back to Jeffrey. The shot blocked. Out of the far side, Troyer. It back from Callahan. Looks up into the box, and Miller has to be aware. Quickly comes off his line. 39th minute, and scoreless here in Rochester for the kickers and the rhinos. Joe Giuliano with the injured Ottawa Obasi. And a great job up here sitting in for another injured player, Christian Silva. The rhinos, two posts in the first half. In a matter of three minutes, it could easily be, easily be up to nothing. Yeah, the, the kick has weathered the storm, and you know the game looks equal if you're, you're judging it by the last five minutes. But the Rhinos had a spell where they could have put this game to bed. Kickers just sitting back, camping out, looking for some defensive shape here. And Forbes and the Rhinos trying to disrupt that with walls now. Ring off. Went down with a knock earlier in the first half. Came back on. Looks to be okay. Into Castile. For McMahon. Great goal Goodness. by McMahon. McMahon driven into the box and nobody on the end of it. Murrah and the kickers coming back in the 40th minute. Callahan, and Troyer, Yambi. Back to Callahan. Richmond will be content to get out of this first half scoreless. From two posts by the Rhinos. Picked up here by Apostolopoulos, but Jeffrey gets a toe poke on it. Center circle, Forbes. Little touch forward for Valeski. Valeski and Troyer battle for it, and they're going to call foul on Valeski as he looks up to the air, and I, I feel for him there. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, pretty soft uh, call there. Feel as though the referee bailed out the defender because he looked like he was really struggling to control that ball. That's one of those instances where you hear the whistle as a defender, and you kind of, oh, thank you, right? Oh, yeah. Perfectly put. <laughs> He was, he was really struggling, and Valeski was breathing down his neck. Ref, luckily for him, bailed him. For Valeski again, headed back to Mendoza. 
2v3, 2v6, really. Mendoza, though, a good run, a shot, and it's going to sell wide of the far post. Mendoza's been busy here in this first half. Yeah, did so well to uh, create this shot. It looked really like there was nothing on, and he fainted to his left, drove hard to his right, and the keeper wasn't getting there, but just wide of the post. Just look at that last work from Johnny Mendoza. Three goals and an assist on the year for the motor. Yeah, no change of speed. Yeah, he just has that knack, doesn't he? Hey, yellow card, yellow card has been issued to Yambi. Didn't see what the reasoning was behind that one. We'll try to find out if we can get a explanation, but Yambi is the second Richmond player to go into the book with a yellow card today. 42nd minute time of that card. Too busy admiring the uh, the change of speed there from Mendoza. Yeah, he's done really well. Nothing steamed on and then he's created something out of nothing really. Picked up by Amura, but he knocks it over the far sideline and it'll be coming up here for the Rhinos. Apparently it is descent that is the unofficial word right now for Yambi. See if we can get clarification on that. Dixon for Voleski. Dixon wins it again. There's McMahon. Canaro Forbes looks, drives it back across to Imura for the kickers in the 43rd minute. Yeah, I think Canado saw something that no one else saw there. <laughs> yeah, Imura. I think he was looking for Garzi, who had pinched in a little sooner than Forbes expected. Ahead pressured by Voleski. Now back to Troyer. 22-year-old out of the University of South Carolina. There's Jeffrey. Barely reaches Yisley. Bentick on the near side off the chest, marked by Forbes. Swerving ball into the box. Apostolopoulos will knock it away. Once again, that is that is veteran, cool, composed, off the chest to your keeper for about eight yards away. Yeah, pure class by Vasilis there. He's, his, his awareness is so good. He knows no, no defender can get, get there, and he's just chested it back to Brandon. And relieves the pressure. And you could see as that ball was coming into him, his head was on a swivel Sacramento looking around. Sacramento is there anything there? No? Okay. Safe to make the play. Yeah, really wonderful. Soccer really experienced move there. Uh, 44th minute. A good first half between the kickers and the rhinos. And the Castile heads it back to Miller. So we'll take a look and go out to the far side. Nope. Change his mind. Don't forget that all USL regular season and playoff games are available live, free, and in demand on YouTube. Connect with the USL YouTube channel today. Those games also in high depth. Forbes for the undercut. Bentick. Be coming out the other way for the kickers. We're in the 45th minute. A scoreless first half. Jeffrey to get this one back into play. Far side, Troyer. Long ball going for Delicat. Apostolopoulos again with eyes in the back of his head finds Miller. One minute of stoppage time. The official dentist of your Rhinos is Dr. Vincent Bella. One more push here Dr. for the Vincent Rhinos. Bella. On the far Four side, it's eight, Dixon. There's picked up by Callahan. Kickers for Delicat. Ring off. Delicat battle. Ball's bouncing and knocked away by Garzi. Quick pass by Mendoza. And back the other way for the kickers. The fourth official quickly forward. He indicated be one minute of Forbes. There's Dixon lays it off for Forbes. First half stoppage time. The Rhinos looking for Mendoza, almost getting it through. Yeah, well adjusted by the defender because 
Johnny had made a great run and the defender looked beat. He just managed to recover his feet and get a vital toe on it. There's Garzi, good step by Apostolopoulos. Mendoza with some space, driving down the middle of the field. Still Mendoza, looking for options. Gets it to Forbes. A heavy cross and cleared away. Over the far sideline. Yeah, the final ball letting Canado down there because they're in a great place. And that'll do it for first half action from Salem Stadium with the kickers and the rhinos scoreless after 45 minutes of play. Stick around, the halftime show is coming up next on the Rhinos Broadcast Network. Great Taste has landed. Salen's Great Tasting Hot Dogs and Deli Meats now available across New York State. When you build a new house with Faber Homes, you won't have to deal with the to-do list that comes with buying a used home. They made it really easy. The whole process was so simple and we were new to the process. It was our first time owning a home, definitely first time building a home. so. They made it really easy, step-by-step -step process, so it's great. Learn more about the benefits of building a new home at FaberHomes.com and visit our models in Henrietta at Berkshire Park or at Regency Park in Greece. Faber Homes. Great homes, great price. Come on, join the rest of the kids at Unity Health System's Total Sports Experience. Instructional program starting at age two. Year-round fun, join anytime. Call 458-4263 or check us out at totalsports-experience.com.
Both teams are back on the field and ready to go for second half action. The Rhinos and the Kickers are scoreless after 45 minutes of play. I'm Joe Giuliano with Ottawa Obasi. As the Rhinos in the all white, be attacking from right to left. Kickers in the all black with red trim out in the huddle. We'll scan over the lineups to see if there's any changes for half number two. Delicat up top with Yisley. That hasn't changed for the kickers. And looks like Lee Kalashaw has not gone to the bench as of yet. Both teams allowed to make five substitutions. Bob Lilly making his way over to the Rhinos bench. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be too long before we see George Davis come on. He really, really can impact the game. And he didn't play the full night in yesterday, yesterday, so he should be relatively fresh for today. Rhinos will have the kickoff. Mendoza and Voleski. Two posts in the first half for the Rhinos. And that keeps it at zeros. Great day for soccer. Sun shining. Mid to upper 70s, couldn't be any better. As McMahon and the Rhinos get us underway. Looking for Mendoza, won't get there. It's Wara who picks it up. Looking for an option, pick it up himself. Kickers away from home again, three, four, and four. Delicott flicks it forward. Miller, again, quick off his line. Able to get it for the Rhinos. Players up and getting loose for Bob Lilly's side. Forbes, a shove from behind from Troyer, and well, it's Bentick, I'm sorry. And he'll be coming back on a free kick for the Rhinos. Short to Walls. To thank David Wagner for joining us at halftime. In the USL. Vice President of Competition and Operations. The native of Rochester. I said, what are you doing here from Tampa? Because I'm from Rochester. I couldn't believe it. Good to see him back home. Into Castile, plays it out to McMahon. Approaching midfield, Mendoza. Good ball, Valeski couldn't get a touch on it. Yeah, great look by Johnny there. He's nearly put Valeski in behind. There's Wara again. For Wara, his eighth appearance of the season, six goals against, four shutouts. For Travis Wara, whose long ball ends up back in the Rhinos 18, and Brandon Miller. 48th minute and scoreless. A full slate of games last night in the USL. Only one other game today. It is LA and Arizona at the StubHub Center. There's Darcy. Walls. The flick on, no one there though. Nicely stood up. Dixon to Garzi. Spins away, finds an opening. There's the captain, Tony Walls. Inside to McMahon. Forbes. And Bentick did a good job there to obstruct him and not give him that space to make the run. Yeah, and look for a second there that Canado was going to get the jump on him and get him behind, but got his body in the right position and snuffed out the attack. And, and that's something that has nothing to do with playing the ball or winning the ball. It's just, I mean, such a smart play by Bentick. His body positioning, good thing for young players to, to be aware of. Yeah, there he was a step behind and just an experienced move by him to step in front of Canado and stop him getting the other side of him. Good awareness there by the outside defender for the kickers. Went too high and off the chest of Ringhoff. Throwing here for Imura. Leaves it for Troyer. 
Looking for options. Delicat. Gets it back down. Troyer knocks it down the near side. Castellopoulos pressured by Yisley. Forward, no one there but Garzi. Mendoza. Good flick. Good touch from Valeski to Dixon. Good soccer here from the Rhinos. Forbes. One on one with Bentick. Still with it. Regroups. Cuts inside. Forbes. Almost got it back. He does. Forbes dribbles. Shot. Goal! What a goal from Canardo Forbes. Great play, great play from Canardo there. He, he tripped up trying to do a scissors, but had the intelligence to keep the dribble alive, and he found Dixon, who maybe a little fortuitously tapped the ball back into his path. He's rounded the keeper and just put it top corner. Brilliant goal. I know this is going to be a, an extended highlight because it's Canardo Forbes for about three minutes. Yeah, it seemed like he was dribbling for an eternity, and he's got it back. Probably a little bit of luck involved, but he's no, made no mistake. 1v1 with the keeper. His second of the season in the 50th minute. And talk about never quitting on a play. Well, we saw it there. It'll be Dixon who gets the assist, his first assist of the season. Rhinos and the Rhinos have a 1 0 lead. Well taken. Critical little pass by Alex Dixon now on the floor. I think the Richmond players were complaining. Canardo had perhaps straight offside when Dixon had put the ball through, but the stands and the Rhinos took a deserved lead. And Lee Kalashaw is furious with the fourth official. As we took a quick look at him on the sideline. And a yellow card also issued to Travis Wara for his descent after the goal from Canardo Forbes. Third yellow card of the game issued to the kickers. 1-0, the Rhinos lead it. Canardo Forbes never stopped, and he's rewarded for that hard work. Owusu into the box for Yisley. That's a roll out of play. It'll be a corner kick, second one of the match for the kickers. Owusu, the 29-year-old from Ghana. Trots over to take it. No, he'll leave it there now for Jeffrey. In swinging service. Deflected into the back of the net. The kickers get a gift. It was headed away and then off another player and up and over Brandon Miller, an own goal in the 52nd minute. Yeah, has glanc leveled this one. Glancing header by Alex Dixon. Didn't didn't catch it full. He's, he's skimmed it off his head straight into Garzi, who has he knows nothing about it. And, He's headed it straight back, and Richmond you mentioned before the game, perhaps set pieces could be important for Richmond with their size, but we didn't envision them scoring like that. No, not at all. 52nd minute, the kickers, two minutes later, will benefit from an own goal. We are tied at one. Mendoza call for the little clip on Troyer. Become a fan of the USL on Facebook for exclusive league news and now interactive content. Wara. Unlucky there for Garzi. As you said, didn't know much about it. Dixon's glancing header just didn't get a full solid piece to clear it away. Yeah, I think Dixon will want to have that one back. He, he was un, unmarked. He had no one on him and he just hasn't caught it right. And, That comes up, Valeski from an offside position. Quickly taken by Robinson. Yambi to Jeffrey. Garzi almost steps in to win it, but Callahan has it for the kicker. Zimura. Uwusu. Delicat behind him. Pokes it forward for Dixon. Heavy on the touch there for Dixon. Hard tackle from Callahan wins it back for the kickers. The hand of Owusu, no call made. Delicat outside for Bentick. High cross, 
It's a header from Delhi. And the flag will come up. Infraction in the box. Maybe Delhi got a little shove on the Rhinos defense. Yeah, it looked soft again. I feel as though this referee's calling everything. Uh, Delicott's got up, looked like he won the header, and I think Brandon did tip it onto the post and would have saved it, but the ref has uh, maybe bailed the defense out there a little. Here's the restart to Dixon. Troyer chasing him down, Dixon still with possession. Chips into the box. The header, and Forbes looking for his second. Not too far off the mark in the 55th. The pace of Alex Dixon there has uh, caused all sorts of trouble for Troyer. Couldn't keep up with him. He swung a very inviting cross with his left foot. And you're really expecting Canado to put that on target there and just let Richmond off the hook, definitely. Good effort there from Canardo Forbes. Who moments ago got his second goal of the year on a tireless effort. Throw in here for Ringha. Flicked on for Mendoza. Double team Mendoza tripped up. No call made. Crowd doesn't like it. I think with some of the calls we've seen, you'd expect that one to be given. Absolutely. As though Johnny fought the same thing. Yambi, the chest and a high clearance to the near side. Oh, what a nice little flick in the air from Walls, but Dixon's knocked off the ball. Walls hustles back to win it. Or he can't keep possession. Jeffrey Owusu. Man stands him up, still comes away with it though, Owusu. Gets away from one, but not two. Chance for Forbes. Streaking forward is Canaro Forbes swiped from behind. And it's Delicott who definitely will get a look at from the referee. Yeah, I think we call that a professional foul. Knew exactly what he was doing and he'll get the yellow card. I think it's a smart foul for his team because Canaro running full speed at the defense was going to cause all sorts of trouble. And Delicott just said no more of that. 56th minute, fourth yellow card of the game. Delicott still pleading with the referee. Won't change anything. Restart coming up here for the Rhinos. We are tied at one if you're just tuning in. Canardo Forbes, his second of the year in the 50th minute, and then two minutes later, an own goal off the head of Garzi, putting this one even at one. There is a kicker's player who's down way at the other end of the field. And I'm not sure if that's Yambi. Can't tell from here. I think that's a Wusu down. He was battling with a few Rhinos players. He looked like he he, he rode a few tackles and Pat Mamon eventually stuck him and he's on the floor now. It's not looking good for him. Wusu played with Charlotte last season. Looks like it's his right leg. It's being looked at. Did have a good battle there with two or three of the Rhino players. And while we have a break, let's make sure you visited the new USLsoccer.com as we look at the highlight quickly yeah you can see that low center of gravity meant he could skip through a few tackles but yeah he's clutching his knee there as Pat comes away with the ball he's back up and on his feet be sure to visit the new uslsoccer.com get the latest news and live stats and check out the new social media hub uslsoccer.com and also become a fan of the usl on facebook for exclusive league news and interactive content it's the usl on facebook we'll see if awusu continues no changes made for richmond or rochester five at the disposal of both coaches. Yeah, it's not looking good. Awus is limping off very slowly, and Colin Martin seems to be getting warm. He's the most active player down there. I'll play with 10 for the time being. Forbes into the box, headed away by Yisley. Dixon continues the attack for the Rhinos, chips into the walls, and Wara, corner of the six, snags it out of the air. 
Looks like Owusu will take on some water and continue here in the 59th minute. Hopeless against Delicat in the back and a tough elbow in the back of Delicat from Apostolopoulos. That is two big, tough players. Yeah, Vasilis meeting fire with fire there. They've had a great battle all game and maybe a little eager to win the ball there. Went through the player and we know Richmond can be dangerous in these set pieces. They benefited from an own goal in the 52nd minute off a corner kick. This one. Dead center. Jeffrey over the ball. Headed away by Ringhoff. Still in the box. And Miller. No harm here as he'll scoop it up. Colin Martin is Ottawa said the first sub getting ready to come on. Dixon with some space on the near side. Cutting into the 18 is Dixon. Puts it across, top of the box, Garzi. And possession given back to the kickers. Yeah, Garzi tried to, tried to tough a pass, tried to play it in behind when I think Johnny wanted to see the feet and Richmond uh, maybe got away from one there because Rochester players were all over them. Colin Martin will come on in the 61st minute. He'll replace Jared Jeffrey. Martin on loan from DC United. The 20 year old makes his second appearance this season with the kickers. Jeffrey will head off. First change of the game. Looks like the Rhinos may double that momentarily. Plus another good win over Delicat. Callahan and the kickers keeping possession. Imura. Back to Troyer. Mora pressured by Voleski. Just gets it away in time. And the pressure will give Rochester a throw in. Yeah, good pressure by Christian Voleski. Helped his team out there by uh, forcing the goalkeeper into a long ball. from Bentek on the far side. We're in the 62nd minute, even at one. Bentek looking for Delicat. Down by Garzi, all the way back to Miller. No options, has to clear it out of play on the near side. Rochester is going to bring on two here momentarily. Callahan. Robinson outside to Yambi. Warren cuts it back around Mendoza. Still, the pressure is there. Net is open. Forbes shot. Oh, it's just wide. Uh, Johnny Mendoza really hunted down the keeper, who seemed to initially to make a fantastic play, cut it back, but. The second touch was, was that of a keeper, and he's, Johnny's got a little, put him under so much pressure, he's played it straight to Canado, who from this angle, it looked like it was in. It would have been number two on the day for Canardo, and he is just hey, inches Vince, away. Allstate, lucky row is in section 125. For Voleski, headed away there by Robinson, Troyer. Off of Voleski, and the Rattles will make substitutions. It's Dos Santos and Malgru getting ready to check in. And they look. And now, it'll be Voleski who comes off for Dos Santos. This change is in the 64th minute. And Timmy Malgru this substitution for coming on for Dixon. Entering the game is number 10. Is in minute number 64. Dixon's had a really effective second half, creating two great chances. Canado 
converted one of them and uh, he's gone off to a good round of applause here. And bringing on Dos Santos and Malgru, talk about what they bring to the table. Yeah, I think Steven brings, you know, he's been hot recently for the Rhino scoring goals and he'll bring a solid hold up play so maybe gives them, give them a little bit more security up top when we play the ball long. Whereas Timmy's a flying winger, he'll get down the side, he'll look to whip balls in. So those two could combine for what we hope will be uh, some good chances for the Rhinos in the, in the next couple of minutes here. Steven with six goals on the season and 15 appearances. Mulgrew, eight games played, but he's always been a dependable sub as Steven takes a touch forward. And quickly off his line is Wara. It would have been an immediate impact for Dos Santos. Long high punt flicked on by Delica. Amanda Castile shields it off and rolls it back into Miller. 65th minute, kickers and the Rhinos, even at one. If you're enjoying our coverage on YouTube, on the Time Warner Cable Sports Network as well. Absolutely perfect day for USL action. Callahan. Gets away from Steven. Now Owusu has to shake off that injury. It's ball driven down the middle, picked up by Apostolopoulos. Mendoza cuts around one. Troyer nudges him off the ball, no call made. A chance for Yisley and the kickers to counterattack. And Apostolopoulos knocks this one out of play. On the far side. Big George Kiliatsi is not happy with the no call. Yeah, I think Johnny can feel a little aggrieved there. He's, he's skipped past one player and Troy has come on the cover and it seemed like he just pushed him from behind, but the ref is in a perfect place to give it and he's he called nothing. Long throwing opportunity here. Yisley to take it. Over his days with the Riverhounds had a very long throw and there it is. Headed by Wusu who collides with Mendoza. And Wusu will get a yellow card. Fifth yellow card of the game, and that's a tough one that Richmond's not gonna like. Yeah, I think another terrible decision by the ref, to be honest. They've both gone for the ball. Johnny gets second to it. Wusu's just headed it forward and followed through. They've, they've collided, and the refs give a yellow, I think. 67th minute time of the fifth yellow card to the kickers. Delicat and Kalashaw in disbelief and rightfully so on that one. Miller to Ringhoff. There's a look at it. No. That's not Terrible decision. Live action looking for Malgru, but he's off sides. Follow at USL on Twitter, become a league insider, join club conversations, and have a chance at exclusive giveaways at USL on Twitter. Robinson will have the restart. Looking at some scores from last night, Ottawa. OKC 4-3 over the Timbers. Danny Koenig, a first half hat trick. He's got 19 goals on the season. What a year he's having. Yeah, he really has been a standout performer in that Western Conference. I feel as though the across there in the West, uh, maybe not as uh, defensively <laughs> Sounders in the East and players really have been filling their boots, scoring a lot of goals. Long ball looking for Malgru. Be able to keep this one in play also last night. It was Wilmington, 4-2 over the Red Bulls. Believe it or not, their first home win of the season for the Hammerheads. Pittsburgh, 3-1 over Toronto. Rob Vincent got his 17th goal of the season. And Montreal, 3-1 winners over St. Louis. Three second half goals by FC Montreal, who also stunned Louisville midweek. Four nothing, so a very impressive run for FC Montreal. Maybe yeah. too little too late. Yeah, Montreal, they've been on a tear recently, just really putting in big, big performances and they really have helped probably 
the Rochester Rhinos more than they've helped themselves securing the top spot in the league. Getting a little sloppy here, Delicat and Ringhoff. Both go down in a heap. Delicat's got a yellow card in the 56th minute. He'll want to be careful. All yellow cards issued to Richmond so far today. Forbes to Mendoza. Rhinos looking for that go-ahead goal on home turf. It's Van de Castile. Pastelopoulos. Driven to the far side. Bentick and Walls battle for it. Throw one coming up for Rochester. Don't forget the Rhinos are back home. Saturday, August the 15th, 7 p.m., the Wilmington Hammerheads. The opposition for tickets. Rhinosoccer.com. Call 454 kick. The Rhinos and the Hammerheads, Saturday, August 15th, at 7 p.m., right here at Salem Stadium. Bentick fakes the play, and he'll be coming out of the goal kick for Wara. Mikey is a proud partner of the USL. Follow at Mikey Soccer on Twitter for the latest Mikey Soccer. We're starting on the near side for Robinson. 21 year old. Alone from DC United. Plays it forward for Delicott. Again, slams into it against Walls. And the air McMahon has it outside to Forbes. Shake and bake there from Forbes, keeping possession. Just a twist of the hips. Gets it back outside. A low cross. And Yami taking no chances will clear it. Still in play though. This one does go out of play. To come back on a throw in for the Rhinos and McMahon. Santos. Thigh, chips it for Forbes. Mendoza, for Santos, using that big frame, trying to keep possession. Knocked away by Yambi. There's Ringhoff. Sent back to Apostolopoulos. Garzi, middle of the field, with some time and space, looking. It's square to Van de Castile. Safe ball there. Our center back goes outside to Forbes. A busy day for Canaro Forbes today. Setting up chances in the first half. Scoring a goal in the second half. Almost another one as well. Postalopoulos. Ringhoff. Ringhoff gets around him. Murrah. Low cross. Steven fires. Nope. The six will be cleared away by Yami. Nice play by Julian Ringoff down there. He took his man on and got across. Unfortunately, Steven couldn't get that shot. Taking a page out of the left back book, isn't he? Pushing forward. Yeah, I was. I was actually <laughs> urging him to. I was urging him to take that player on. The number. The number 14, Amora. He doesn't look like the strongest player, and Julian easily got past him and put in a nice low cross for. Steven. I must have heard you from up here. But a good job there against Imura. Garcy back to Apostolopoulos. Mulgrew has always been good coming off the bench this season. On loan from the Revs. Stevens flick into space looking for Garzi. Wasn't going to get there. Come on, Join us on the field following tonight's match for the need and group with Rivals 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 Rivals. Rivals. 10 goals against coming into this one, now 11. Still on pace to break the 98 team record of fewest goals given up in a season. That was 15 Back by that 98 team. A lot of soccer still to be played. And speaking of a lot of soccer, next season, up to 30 games. How do you feel about that? I feel as though it's going to be good for the league. I hope that they, they manage to balance it out better than than Richmond have got here where they've had to play a back-to-back -back set because the quality of the game is not going to be as good if you've played less than 24 hours ago and you have to go and play another game. So I hope they can get the scheduling right, maybe extend the length of the season. 
but more the more soccer, the better, really. More teams, more games next season in the USL. There's Forbes crossing midfield on the far side. Looking for Malgrew, good header. The shot, it's up, and the flag comes up anyways. Mendoza offside. Great header by Timmy. I don't think Johnny knew that he was offside, and probably he's been saved there because he missed the chance horribly, and the linesman has already flagged him offside. Great win by Malgrew. Mendoza just couldn't get that one to sit. Yeah, normally so, so good with his left foot. I know it didn't count, but I know Johnny would probably be hoping he could have buried that. A little nudge there from Delhi before the ball came down, trying to knock Tony Walls out of the way. No go. We start for the Rhinos. John Tosh will be coming in. It's his final marching orders from Bob Lilly. This long ball sent into the box. Miller. Take his time, we're in the 75th minute, even at one. Forbes goal for Rochester, own goal off the head of Garzi. That put this one Located in the heart level of Rochester, at one. The Radisson Riverside is the premier venue for your upcoming conference, wedding, meeting, or social Another gathering. way out of his box, a long Benedict one down the middle of the field, flicked on, the way there by Walls to Dos Santos. Malgru. Back into the mix and cleared away by Wusu. Corner kick coming up here for Mendoza in the home side. And Mendoza in swing service. Mendoza, good delivery. Still in the mix, and War at the six will pick it up. Yeah, Johnny's delivery has been excellent today. Balls in really dangerous spots and causing all sorts of trouble for the Richmond defenders. Mora put it down on the turf. Send this one downfield, looking for Delicat. And the Castillo gets a poke at it to Mendoza. Sent back in, and it's going to be Miller who gets there first. To make some changes, bringing on the big tough Colin Rolfe up top, along with Sean Tosh. Rolfe, the kind of player who's probably not seen a challenge he doesn't like. He is no nonsense, not afraid to bang around in there. Yeah, Colin Rolfe trains the way he plays. He's a very physical player and gives 100% work rate day in, day out. So you always know when you come against him in training, it's going to be a competition. <laughs> Imura wins the throw in, but we'll have some changes first. Is it'll be Mendoza coming off, coming off for Rolf. 78th minute time of this change. Fantastic shift by Johnny Mendoza and coming off the good, good hand of, round of applause here. Created chances, nearly got on the score sheet himself a couple of times. So Mendoza comes off along with Garzi. And it's Tosh and Rolf who come on in the 78th minute. 18th appearance for Rolf. 13th for Tosh. Changes three and four for Bob Lilly's side. Nice work from Tony Walls. Steven Dos Santos back to McMahon. Walls continues the run forward. Robinson just nudges the header away from Walls. Good defending there and a good run from Tony Walls. Yeah, nice little combination play. Pat's played a, a well-weighted ball over and the defenders just nipped in in front of Tony Walls there. Throwing for McMahon on the far side, 79th minute. McMahon puts it into the box. Foul on Rolf as he enters with a push inside the 18. 
15. Soccer fans, don't forget that all USL regular season and playoff games are available live, free, and in HD on YouTube. Connect with the USL YouTube channel today. Here's the header from Tosh off the back of Delicat. From the far sideline, it'll be Bentick to pick up a throw in for the kickers. They're making their second change of the match. Hugh Roberts coming on. It's Forbes. Callahan battle for it. Tosh comes away with it. There's Rolf. Strip of the ball. Troyer. Owusu. Hard tackle there, but the Rhinos keeping possession. Mulgrew. Tosh, good ball outside for Ringhoff. Space. Top of the 18, Mulgrew. Left foot. Swerving through the crowd. Wall shot is blocked. Forbes picks it up outside the box. Back to McMahon. Pumps one into the box again. No, it's on the near sideline. Ringhoff has to hustle. Can't keep it in play. Leg is up and a throw in here for the kickers. And the ball did just look like it had ran out of play, but Julian Ringhoff had made an absolutely fantastic tackle. Unfortunately. This substitution for the Richmond kickers entering the game is number eight, Hugh Roberts. Replacing At that point, though, when Ringhoff had went for the challenge, the flag already up for the ball being out of play. 81st minute, it's Roberts coming on for Matthew Delicott. Roberts, the 22-year-old, making his 19th appearance of the season. The 81st minute, second change of the game. Last one, and I think it was over the line. Referee's assistant in a perfect spot to view straight down the near sideline. Nonetheless, we continue to play, and it's Mulgrew called for the foul. Troyer will have the restart, 82nd minute. Fans, there's still time to submit your photos with 43 game. points. Louisville not Use too far behind with 38. After that today. major hiccup against Montreal midweek. Yeah, they had a chance to close the gap down to two, and they really did have a shocking defeat to Montreal 4 0 at home. The way by Yambi. Outside the walls. Rolf, flag comes up, he's offside. Great vision by Wolves there, picked out Colin, but unfortunately it's just straight offside before he's played. Although I feel as though it's a tight, tight call, and uh, you know, if Colin keeps playing on that line, I think he might have a little bit of success, 10 minutes left. Plenty of time for either side to make something happen here as Robinson and the kickers push it towards midfield. Looks up, going to the far side for Owusu. Man, nice, strong win. Gets it to Walls. Stop there by Martin. Maybe a throw in here for the Rhinos. Owusu slowly trotting back to his position. Got a tough goal of it here in the second half. Back to Apostolopoulos. Forbes. And the Castile. Steven outside to Walls. Plays the 1 2. Back to Steven. Still Steven Dos Santos into the box. Through the mix and just poked away by Wara. And down goes Callahan and the whistle blows. Fantastic turn by Dos Santos in the corner. He's, he's turned the defender inside out there and. A very dangerous ball across. The Rhinos couldn't capitalize. Big save again from Travis Wara. And a wonderful buildup from the Rhinos. Here's a look at the one two walls and Dos Santos. Wow. Hi highlight reel right there. He's chopped it almost between his legs. And Wara again, right place, right time. 
I even think Tony's unlucky to be called for the foul there. He seems like he's got his body in the right spot. Callahan out of play. Going for the Rhinos in the 84th minute. Sean Tosh. For Steven Dos Santos. So strong and knocking Troyer away from it. And a heavy touch, not going to give Mulgrew a chance to get on the end of it. Yeah, Troy pushed him off. The a little ragdoll there. Steven DeSantis way too strong for him, but he's overhit the pass. And Richmond will look to get this up the field. Great pressure by Sean Tosh. He's got a turnover deep in Richmond's half. Callahan is down on the turf after the contact from Tosh. Looks like it's his foot that was stepped on. Kicker's captain, 28-year-old. He's also played with Carolina and the Austin Aztecs. Here's a look at the replay. Don't know if he wants to take a close look at it. Yeah, I think he's kicked, he's kicked, yeah, he's kicked into kicked. the bottom of Tosh's studs. Definitely a painful one. I'm sure he'll be fine to carry on. Going for the Rhinos, Timmy Mulgrew over to take it. 22 year old. George Mason Hands University. The Genesee, Blue House, conveniently located right across the Ponta Reigns Bridge. Rediscover your love of Genesee. Oh, and family Shaking it off here on the near sideline. Put some of the best views of Rochester. And you can do that with the main advantage. A couple of seconds here. Party is just off the street at the Genesee. Callahan's called back onto the pitch. That's the Lopez. Man, 86th minute. Rhinos, kickers, tied at one. Santos trying to stop it with the bottom of his foot. Sneaks away from him. Wara will pick it up. He's been good in goal today. Like yeah, he looks very solid between the, the sticks for Richmond. He's made some huge saves. And All USL apart from that, when he tried to little dribble out the back, he seems, he seems very confident. Connect with the USL YouTube channel today. And out. Cleared away by Miller. Roberts gets it to Callahan. Callahan pressured, almost taken away by Dos Santos. Miller takes no chances. Ringhoff coming back the other way for the Rhinos. Roberts marking him, Ringhoff. Cuts it back, Tosh. I can't believe my eyes. I think I just saw scissors from <laughs> Julian Ringhoff in the corner. I'm not sure if that was an attempt to waste time or what, but. <laughs> it's the 25-year-old from Germany, Ringhoff. Now, you know he's going to watch this game, right? Oh, a long shot from distance, and Miller almost caught off his line. Very lucky. Very lucky there. An unbelievable effort out of absolutely nothing. And from the moment he left his foot, it seemed as though that may have been destined for the back of the net. And because of Brandon, Brandon Miller, maybe uh, he's feeling pretty fortunate right now that that didn't go in the back of the net. That would have been a stunner in the 88th minute. Yeah, that would have been unbelievable. Rhinos would have been uh, feeling very, very aggrieved to consider the goal. But that was definitely out the top draw by Awusu. Took a look up, saw that he was off his line. Walls coming the other way now. Chip into the box, it's a little high. And over Mulgrew. Forms hustles, but can't keep it in play. Yeah, fantastic piece of skill by Tony in the corner. He's just a little faint, little hesitation. Drew the defender in, powered past him, and unfortunately the final product just wasn't there. Opportunity from Owusu, and he is way downfield. Here's a look at it. You can see he looks up, he spots Miller's off his line. Why not have a go? Miller at this point, he's done. Oh, wow. Yeah, Miller all ends up there and just really praying that that ball is going to go over. Substitution will be coming on for the kickers. It's 
Schiffman. Getting ready to come on as this ball's headed away by Walls to McMahon. Picked up by Callahan. Robinson to Troyer. Pumps one into the box for Yisley. Still the kickers looking for something. Martin taken off the ball by McMahon. McMahon will clear it down the far side. Bentick plays it in the middle. Forbes. Please, as a reminder, the clock will stop at the 90 minute mark. Stoppage time to be kept. Out of play. Throwing here for the kickers. It's going to be Schiffman coming on for Imura in the 90th minute. Yeah, but there's a substitution. He's been coming really. Imura hasn't been in the game at all in the second half, especially. Substitution in the 90th minute. So for Schiffman, his 10th appearance of the season. With OKC Energy last season. Comes on now to make his 10th appearance with one goal on the year. Callahan. Bentick off of Walls, throwing here for the kickers. Three minutes of stoppage time. They're tied at one. The official has indicated there will be three minutes. Three minutes of stoppage time. Right away by the Adams defense. Robinson heads it forward. And the foul. And Canardo Forbes just goes down in a heap. Not sure if he's exhausted, didn't see any contact. He just kind of collapsed. Yeah, it looks like he's taking a nap right now. <laughs> I hope it's nothing serious. Could be cramps, looks like that's exactly what it is. Dos Santos using his trainer skills to help out the uh, hamstring of Canardo Forbes, who scored in the 50th minute, his second of the season, on an assist from Alex Dixon. And now, I don't know, you look back at that first half, those two posts could have been game changers. Yeah, I feel as though Richmond really weathered a brutal, a brutal storm by the Rhinos and uh, they could have been two down at half and they, they really couldn't have had any complaints with that scoreline. They, they got to the half 0-0 zero, zero, and uh, it could be anything can happen. Forbes will come off. Get a look at from the trainer. Rhinos do have one more substitution available. They brought on Dos Santos, Mulgrew, Tosh and Rolf. Callahan chips it into the box. The header down, up, and on top of the netting. They'll come out the other way and a goal kick for the Rhinos in stoppage time. Miller. Tosh. Lopez. Over the far side. Sneaks through to Walls, but Bentick gets the foot iron first. Castile foot back to Miller. And Postalopoulos. Under a minute remaining in stoppage time, unless more has been added. We'll see. Throwing for the Rhinos. Robinson hits the wall and goes down. It was Bentick, I'm sorry. From Santos to Forbes. Does he have some late game heroics left? Tosh, low shot, deflected in. Chipped up and over the goal. Dos Santos and Mulgrew may have knocked each other off the play. Wow, huge chance for the Rhinos in the end. And Sean Tosh, with his weaker left foot, has hit a great low drive. It's took a deflection, little ricochet. I think of two players fell in the path for I think like DeSantos was the favorite for it. I think Timmy's got in the way and balls ended up over the bar. Here's a look at it, we'll see. Well, Grew and Dos Santos both fighting for that one. Yambi. Dos Santos. 
Outside for Walls. Tugged on, taken down. Yeah, another professional foul there. I think Bentick knew that he was beat. Tony Walls too strong. He's just rugby tackled him to the ground. This should be the last push. And a dangerous restart outside the 18 on the far side. Reynolds pushing some big bodies into the box. It's Walls over the ball, a two-man wall for the kickers. They're backed up to the required 10 yards. You'd fancy a left footer here, but Tony's, Tony's taking it for the outswinger. Gonna need something, someone to get ahead on this. They're looking to score here, the Rhinos. Walls delivers into the mix and cleared away by Owusu. Fantastic ball by Tony. Any, I think any touch on that, it could be in the back of the net. And Rich Miller can be very happy with the point. You can see it in the facial reaction of Lee Kalashaw. A big sigh of relief as this one comes to a close after 90 plus minutes. Two goals in the second half, one for each side. It brings this one to a 1-1 finish. Stick around, we'll have the post-game show coming up next on the Rhinos Broadcast Network.